Hello guys, welcome to this channel where we always talk about WordPress. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marcelo and I work with WordPress since 2012, something that I love to do. Well, today's video is not really going to be a tutorial like my recent ones. Today I want to talk about a subject that some people ask me about, especially those who never worked with WordPress before. I mean, those beginners who wanted to start creating their own themes, but are, um, but are a little afraid to start. The question is this, Marcelo, how much PHP do I need to know to start working with WordPress? If you are one of those uh, lucky and experienced WordPress guys, you, you must be thinking it's uh, kind of silly to, to, to start talking about this subject. But it's not like that. Uh, I decided to make this video because that wasn't a question that I've been asked once or twice. So this video is more aimed at beginners to WordPress, okay, not uh, at experienced folks. But uh, before answering the question, I wanted to ask a little help for this channel, um, and, it, and it won't cost you a red cent. So please uh, give your thumbs up, because I know you like the video, uh, subscribe to this channel, and if you want, leave your comments down below. And don't forget also to click on the bell icon, so YouTube will always let you know when new videos are available. This channel is growing every day, and I like to thank everyone who's already subscribed. If you haven't done yet, please go ahead and subscribe because here you will always have something new about WordPress. Well then, uh, do you have to master PHP to start creating themes for WordPress? Look, um, I have to make something clear before I even answer this question. My audience here is mostly made up of developers, uh, programmers, web designers, IT students, etc. So I have those people in mind to answer that question, because uh, as you know, you can create a website with WordPress without needing to write a single line of code using page builders. Uh, but uh, this video is not for the page builder lovers, okay? It's for people like me uh, who like to really dig deeper and explore everything WordPress has to offer, even to become a better developer. Why not? Uh, let me tell you something. One of the reasons that made me choose WordPress was uh, because um, of this chance to become a better developer. Of course, there are more powerful uh, frameworks and uh, really amazing CMSs out there, and uh, nothing compares to pure PHP. But I'm fascinated with WordPress since the beginning. Uh, for me, it really brings that challenge that eventually made me understand how PHP works and write better code. Over the last 10 years, I've learned a lot and I still have a long way to go. But in fact, if I begin to answer the question, I myself am not a PHP expert, although I have a degree in the area. I started uh, with an intermediate level in PHP and I learned a lot of PHP from WordPress. Okay, so let's get straight to the point. WordPress is basically made up of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and a lot of PHP files. I would say that uh, to start creating your own WordPress themes, you don't have to wait to be an expert in PHP, okay? But you cannot be a complete beginner either. Unless you have a very strong foundation in programming logic, and perhaps uh, you have a background in another programming language other than PHP. You wouldn't be able to start doing anything in WordPress without the minimal knowledge of uh, variables, of uh, data types, uh, mainly strings, arrays, um, operators, conditional statements, especially if-else statements, uh, which is widely used everywhere, uh, functions, I mean, all those basic subjects that everybody starts learning in PHP. So with that, you can already start without feeling lost. Uh, but without that, it will be kind of hard. So I recommend that you study a little bit more before getting your hands on WordPress code. But uh, let's go to the computer, because I want to give you more details. Well, I'm here uh, with my code editor. And I have here a full WordPress installation. So WordPress works with several PHP files, which are at the root of the installation, here. And also within these folders, here. WP Admin, WP Content, and WP Includes. 
and the film developer will almost always be focused uh, only on the WP content folder, especially here in this themes folder, where they uh, will have the folder of the theme they are creating. An example is this folder, Fancy Lab, which is from one of my courses. All right, uh, let me open one of the most important files of the theme, which is this one, functions.php. Among the knowledge that I think it's the most important for those who want to start becoming a film developer are PHP functions. The name of this file itself, functions.php, which is one of the hearts or the brain of the theme, is already a good hand. Here you can have a collection of functions that make your theme work. You can even have a theme without the functions.php file, uh, since it's not listed among the required theme files. But if you want to create a really functional theme, at some point you probably need this file. And you have to know how to create and call functions using PHP. Functions are also essential to master the use of two very important elements in WordPress code, used both in themes and plugins, which are action hooks and filters. Uh, this one here is a very simple example of what I'm talking about. If you want to add style sheets and JavaScript files to a plain HTML site, you can simply insert a line in the head portion of the HTML file and call the file there one by one. A WordPress theme, though, uses a different approach. You need to define a function, and inside it, you add each file using a process called enqueuing. For this, you can use both functions wp-enqueue-style and wp-enqueue-script. And at the end, you call another function named addAction to fire this one you just defined in one of the WordPress action hooks called wp scripts. It sounds complicated at first sight, but uh, it's quite simple. The more you use this structure, the simpler it will become. So what you needed to know here was basically how to define and how to call functions, just passing the right parameters to them. Uh, speaking of parameters, the WordPress documentation itself helps a lot in such cases. You can get information about any function with several examples of use in two sites. One of them is the WordPress Codex, an online help compilation, which is gradually uh, being replaced by a kind of developer's handbook that is the second site I told you about. For example, let's suppose I don't know how to use the WP Enqueue style function. I mean, what is the order of the parameters, etc. So I can search for the function on the side. And here I have all the reference for the function. The order of the parameters, a complete explanation about them, the source code of the function for you to understand how it works, other functions that are related to it, and here below are several examples of use, and this is extremely useful. And you can also take a look at the Film Developer's Handbook on this page here. So, back to the code. Uh, both VS Code and Sublime have a very nice feature that also helps you to better understand the functions. In VS Code, I can right-click on the function name and choose Go to Definition. And here I have the file where the function is being defined, including an explanation of how to use it. That's very similar to what we have over there in that reference website. Now, if I switch here to Sublime, so on Sublime I just mouse over the name of the function and click on one of the definitions. Usually they all come from the WP Includes folder, and I use this extensively while developing my themes. But anyway, VS Code is even more powerful, because I can have a hint of the parameters a function has, and it happens at the same time as I type the function's name. Cool, huh? Well then, as you've seen, knowing how to mess with PHP functions is essential in WordPress. They're everywhere, all over the PHP files in the theme. So you may say, okay Marcel, functions are not my problem. But I don't think WordPress has only functions. How about object-oriented programming? Where can I find it in WordPress? Do I have to know that? Yes, you'd better know a thing or two at least. But you don't need to be a ninja to create your themes. To start with, only in a few situations or almost never you'll be defining your own classes. 
most of the time you'll be working with ready-made classes defined by WordPress itself. Let me give you an example. WordPress has an options panel also known as Theme Customizer. You may already be familiar with it. It's that panel that comes up when you go to the appearance menu, customize option, this one here. Under the hood, this tool is created by some methods of a class called WP Customize Manager. These methods create the panel objects, the sections, the settings, and the controls. The customizer is optional in the theme, but it's quite easy to handle. And I have a video here on my channel that explains how to work with it. Just check out the card above. Essentially, you need to understand how to call each method, which in the end are just functions of another kind, and just pass the necessary parameters to each of them. It's not that difficult and, as I said, it's optional in the theme. This is virtually one of the few cases where you have to mess with object-oriented programming in a WordPress theme. There's also the case of custom loops, uh, which can be created uh, with WP Query class. And of course, there are more advanced stuff, but uh, that will get you started. Another subject you should know before you start is how to work with PHP loops. Not all kinds of loops, okay? The most used of them will be the while loop. This type of loop is essential to create what we call the WordPress loop. For example, here in the index.php file, you have a standard loop and it's triggered if this half posts function returns true. That is, uh, if there are posts saved in the database. If this happens, I mean, if there are posts, WordPress jumps to the while loop and iterates, I mean, uh, repeats the code inside the loop as many times as necessary until all the posts are displayed on the screen. It also works for pages because, in fact, pages are nothing more than a different type of post within WordPress. We can also work with the for and for each loops, but in more specific situations. Knowing how to deal uh, with the while loop is a good starting point. Um, databases. Do I need to know anything about them? Well, I would say that will be very useful. Often you get a sense of MySQL databases in any PHP course you take. So what you learn in those courses will be good enough. But there are rare moments when you need to interact with the database directly to create a theme. On the other hand, if you want to create plugins, that's another case. But you can create themes without much interaction with the database. WordPress has a series of functions that allow you to insert and read data without needing to write SQL commands. The rare occasions when you need this will be when you use the WPDB class, but I rarely see it being used in themes. Generally, all interaction with the database is limited to the use of some methods of the WP Query class and other classes. You see that you end up using them without even noticing. Well, I think that's it. So you need to know how to deal uh, with the basics of PHP, like variables, data types, operators, functions, notions of object-oriented PHP and loops. It's not that much, is it? So to summarize, don't be afraid. Even with little knowledge of PHP, you can start learning. Of course you can. And if that is your intention, I invite you to follow this channel. Here you have a handful of videos with basic notions of WordPress theme development. You can also buy my book, The Web Developer's Guide to WordPress, so you can use it as a reference material in your projects. And of course, I invite you to enroll in one of my courses. All of them are aimed at people like you, who always wanted to learn more about WordPress, but never found a good, organized and complete material. You can choose one of the available courses by visiting the link in the video description. If you use the link, you can take the course you want with a huge discount. And any course pays for itself more than 10 times over, you see it. And I'll be there to help you out when any doubt arises. You can count on me, considered by my students as one of the best instructors on Udemy. Well, today you had an idea of what you need to start in WordPress. So are you ready for the challenge? So I'll wait for you then in one of my courses. See you there.